Hi, Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see uh, what is the reason behind their silence, okay? So, why are they staying cold or distant? Why is it that they've pulled away? Why, you know, is there no contact or no communication with them? What's really going on? There's also going to be a part two to this reading, and that's going to be made available via the extension link below. Um, in part two of the reading, we're going to explore the messages in a little bit more detail. So we'll go a little bit more in depth. It'll also be like a continuation on reading as well. So for those of you that are also interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video for you. Otherwise, guys, this reading here is intended for all water signs, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching. Let's go ahead and take a look and see why is it that your person is staying silent. Okay, what's going on with them? Maybe they've been acting a little weird lately. It feels like there may be them it may just be more than two energies involved here so there may be the involvement of a third party or there could be someone that might be attached to you or to the energy of your special person it feels like right now the energy is really low it's really exhausted here possibly both their physical and their mental energy um, it feels like they just sort of want to take this time this time of no like no contact no communication this period that you're going through and it feels like they're taking the time to retreat here they're really withdrawn into themselves um, but it feels like it's an energy that it doesn't feel exactly it doesn't feel clear as to you know why this they've pulled away there's a sense of conflict that i feel like is internal with this person and i feel like they're really using this time to, using this silence and this no talk, no communication period to really go deep within themselves. They're giving things a lot of thought. And some of them are even, for some of you, I'm seeing that your person could be nursing their wounds, okay? So maybe the last time that the two of you seen each other or had spoken to one another, um, there were some painful words that were exchanged or maybe they might have even misunderstood the tone in which you delivered something um, or just something felt a bit awkward a little bit uncomfortable they were acting strange or perhaps you yourself were acting strange or maybe the both of you were acting strange around one another and it feels like this person is taking the time to sort of gain some clarity and understand what's going on with the situation between you and them but also with their feelings towards you because i did uh say at the beginning of the reading here that it feels like there's more than just two energies involved so your person may be in a relationship in a commitment or you know they may be attached to someone else but it feels like they're trying to fight their feelings for you which seem to be quite uh growing day by day and it feels like they're being they're worn out, they're exhausted, they're exhausted of fighting their feelings for you, they're exhausted of, um, you know, denying to themselves that they are in love with you or that they have strong feelings for you. And this is why they're taking the time to sort of nurture themselves and nurture the situation between you or between them and this person. They will re-emerge. So there will be contact, there will be communication, not right now. It's also it's also very important that you don't initiate any contact or any communication because you will not get what it is that you want from them, not right now. 
So if you want them to open up and if you want them to talk, if you want to know what's going on with them, even if you do initiate contact or communication, let me tell you, you will not get it from them. Not right now. The energy is very conflicted. It's very torn. It's very withdrawn. It's very into themselves. Um, and it, something that's been going on between the two of you has honestly driven them to an energy where it feels like it's exhaustion. And they're exhausted of either fighting their feelings for you. They're exhausted of, uh, you know, putting on a certain um, image for you here. I don't know what it is, but it just feels like this person, this person wants to take some time away from the situation here. I can see that this person is confused about their feelings for you because it feels like they have feelings for more than just the one person. Um, and it's funny how one day this person can act like they're head over heels for you and then act so indifferent the next day okay one day they can come on so strong and then the next day they can act so cold and so distant he he or she also doesn't know where they stand with you which is making them very anxious which is making them very nervous uh, they also don't know um, you know what it is that's going on between the two of you maybe they might not know that you have feelings for them that are as strong as they are um, they I feel like they're very perplexed and they're just trying to figure out how they feel about you but I also feel like there's something going on with their personal life they could be going through a difficult time in their life they might not know how to deal with their feelings for you Okay, this person might have been hurt before and I'm seeing that they don't necessarily want to put themselves in that position again or they don't want to put you in a position where you end up uh, hurt. It feels like they have feelings for you but they also have feelings for somebody else, okay, because I'm getting a bit of a um, crowded energy here. So I don't think that this person is comfortable letting you know at this particular point in time how they feel about you. Okay, this is why you get the inconsistencies in their behavior. This is why you get the hot and cold demeanor. This is why they, you know, come on so strongly and then they pull away. There's a confusion here. And this is why it's so important that you guys give each other the time and the space to figure it out. Okay, you, I know some of you, I'm seeing that you're wanting communication because I'm seeing the fact that you don't have any contact or communication from this person is making you feel very confused and it's making you feel very anxious and you're probably thinking is it something you said or is it something you've done it's not that it's the fact that they're confused about their feelings they get close to you and they pull away they get caught up in the moment and then you know they don't know where to draw the line it's that kind of energy um or they may be catching feelings for you but they're not ready to move those feelings forward yet okay so this is why it just no contact, no communication could be a really good thing because I am seeing that this person wants to play it cool and they want to act like they're not paying that much attention to you. But in reality, it feels like this person is going through all the social media posts um, that you have been putting up. Um, this person is, you know, they might not be liking or even commenting your posts because he or she might not want you to know that, you know, there's feelings there, there's a connection there. Um, they could be scared. It could be because of the situation they find themselves in, okay? They're attached. They're, you know, married to someone else or you're married to someone else. You're attached to someone else. It just feels like they want to communicate, okay? They want to communicate something with you here, but it just feels like they don't know how to do without making it too obvious because it feels like there's consequences here, Um, okay, for some of you, you have to know, even if there's no contact or no communication between the two of you, this person is going through your social media posts, or this person is, you know, Googling, uh, they're doing a Google search about you to find out as much as they can. Um, they are talking about you to their friends. They are thinking about you. They do think about you a lot. Um, I do see them, there will be 
there will be some sort of breakthrough. There will. It's just a matter of when. There will be communication in the future. That's for sure. You guys will see one another. So I don't think this is the end. I think this is the end of something. The end of a chapter perhaps between you or the end of... Um, there is some sort of... I'm getting some sort of closing of a chapter. I don't know if it's personal, if it's for this person. I don't know if it's you're closing the chapter personally in your life. But I do see that there is going to be, I mean, with the Three of Wands energy, there is going to be a movement with regards to this situation. There is, some things are going to progress. There will be talks. There will be communication. There will be a very important conversation that you will be having with this person in the future. There's also going to be, with the Knight of Pentacles energy, there's also going to be a move that they're making. But best believe that this move that they're making, they're putting so much thought and so much energy into what their next step should be. So everything is so carefully premeditated. Everything is so carefully um, calculated. This person doesn't just make moves for the sake of it. It feels like they're trying to really get ahead of themselves here. So it really feels like their wheels, their gears, their gears are turning with regards to your current situation. Okay, so in part two of the reading, we're going to explore things in a little bit more detail. When will they make their move? When will your next contact communication? And what is this important conversation that we will see around this person? And who is wrapping up a chapter here? And what exactly are they wrapping up here? So follow me via the extension link below. Thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye for now.